Welcome to Spoken Reviews, home of the Spoken Reviews. Today, guys, we have a quick overview of the Razor Blade Stealth. Now, this Razor Blade Stealth was first announced in CES 2016. And the first thing people said was, this laptop is going to be a MacBook Air competitor. In reality, I think that people have been aiming way too low. Based off of the premium build quality of this Razer Blade Stealth and the specs that this is going to be holding inside, I really do think that this can probably rival the MacBook Pro in many arenas. Um, based off of the new Skylake processor, the SSD that's going to be included, uh, the RAM, I really do think that this is going to be a very, very competitive computer. Now the big appeal for the Razer Blade Stealth is that you can be productive all day, whether that's going to work or going to class, then get home and plug it into the Razer Blade Core and have fun. Now the Razer Blade Stealth itself is actually going to go on sale in January 2016, and they'll be shipping it out in January 30th of 2016, but the Razer Blade Core won't be shipping until the end of the first quarter of 2016. But basically, you can game with this, put whatever gaming video card you want inside, and pretty much have the ultimate gaming PC at home. At only half an inch thick and only 2.75 pounds, this is going to be a very portable device that you can carry with you all day. With an aircraft aluminum build quality, this Ultrabook has a value price and a premium build quality. Now this laptop is going to come with two different types of screens. The first one is going to be a regular QHD screen, 2560 by 1440 pixels, giving you a 234 PPI and 70% Adobe RGB. The other version is going to be a 4K resolution, giving you 3840 by 2160 resolution and 352 PPI, giving you 100% Adobe RGB. So both models are going to be very impressive on the screens. I personally will probably lean towards the 4K just because I love pixels and I really do love the vibrant screen that's offered with this laptop. The Razer Blade itself has the first chroma keyboard on the market. Now each key on this keyboard is programmable so you can pick whatever color you want, whatever contrast, and program each individual key. Uh, it's very beautiful and very innovative. When looking at the specs, you realize that this is more than just an Ultrabook. I really do think that they're going to raise the bar for Windows PCs overall with this build. So we're looking at a 6th gen i7 processor. It's the 6500U dual core processor with hyperthreading, giving you 2.5 gigahertz, and you can turbo boost this up to 3.1 gigahertz, which is very, very powerful. We're looking at an Intel HD Graphics 520 processor. So that alone is going to be very powerful, but the fact that you can plug it into the Razer Core and get even more graphics is just unbelievable. As far as RAM, we're looking at 8 gigs of dual channel RAM, which anyone who does video editing or plays game will let you know that 8 gigs is more than enough, and a 64-bit chip processor, which is fantastic. Now the QHD 128 gigabyte hard drive is going to cost you a thousand bucks. The QHD 256 gigabyte hard drive will cost you 1200 bucks. The 4K 256 will cost you 1400 bucks, while the 4K 512 gigabyte hard drive will cost you 1600 bucks. I personally would probably go with the 4K 256 for 1400 bucks because I think it's probably the best value. Overall, this is a fantastic computer. I can't wait to get into the office and run some tests on it. I think this is a great option for most buyers out there. Anyways guys, if you liked the video, hit the like button for me. If you have any questions, leave them below. If you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to the channel. Thank you.